This video is going to focus on the acid-base titrations on the pH. It just involves only the theory. There is no calculations involved in it. It is only an introduction to titration. So in these titrations, we are going to consider only the acid-base uh, reaction, neutralization reaction. So uh, what I mean by that is the reaction of an hydrochloric acid with a NaOH giving you NaCl plus water. And the net ionic equation will be hydrogen ion giving you hydrox uh, plus combining with hydroxyl ion giving you water. And the acid-base titrations can be of three types. I, uh, one, number one, a strong acid, strong base titration. Number two, a strong acid, weak base titration. And number three is a weak acid, strong base titrations. We don't have uh, weak acid, weak base titrations. So for titrations, we have uh, three kinds of uh, titration curves. The first one is the strong acid, strong base titration. And uh, if you observe it, suppose we have uh, a strong acid and uh, add uh, some amount of strong any uh, base, NaOH into it, you can see that the pH changes. Because initially we have some strong acid, the pH is um, in the range of, uh, it's below 7. And as I add NaOH, the pH keeps increases. And there is a point. There is a sharp increase in the pH and uh, uh, and that's what we call as the, the center of the sharp increase we call as the equivalence point and for a strong acid strong base reaction the equivalence point uh, the pH is 7. So similarly if you have a weak acid strong base uh, titration you will see that uh, there is a sharp increase in the pH at a particular point and the equivalence point in this case will be larger than 7 and similarly if I have a strong acid weak base titration the equivalence point will be uh, at the uh, pH of the equivalence point will be less than 7. So what do you have to really remember in this titration curve is that for a strong acid strong base the pH uh, at the equivalence point is 7 and when the acid is weak and the base is strong the pH of the equivalence point is greater than 7 and the strong acid weak base, the pH at the equivalence point is less than. After learning about the titration curve, the next term which is involved with any titration is an indicator. So what is this indicator? Why do we need it? See, when we are mixing two acids and bases, both of them are colorless. So I need something which is colored in there to indicate that the reaction is complete. So that's what we use the indicators for. So what are these indicators? These indicators are basically weak acids themselves. And but why do you use them? Uh, the acid and its conjugate base of an indicator has different colors. Suppose if I represent the indicator as HIN. In, uh, <coughs> in one of the form, like in the acid form, it will have one color. So when it loses a proton and becomes a base, it will have another color. This is the basic requirement of an indicator. And it is these two different colors makes us to identify the end of the uh, reaction. So the point at which this color change, we call it as the end point. And the end point of an indicator, it depends on the pH of the solution. So just now we saw that we have uh, different pHs for a strong acid, weak acid and uh, strong base and all those titrations. So we have to choose the indicator based on the pH of the equivalent point of the titration. We will learn about it more in the next slide. So now let's see that how do we choose this indicator. So the table of indicator is given over there and I have given some five indicators and their colors in acid and colors in bases. And then uh, their pH range is also given. That is the pH range in which the color changes. So suppose I need a uh, indicator for a strong acid, strong base titration. I know that the pH of the strong acid, strong base titration is 7. At the equivalence point, it is 7. Therefore, the best indicator I can use is uh, Cresol Red, which changes the color changes at a pH of 7 to 8.8. .8. And the phenolphthalein can also be chosen, though it says that it changes at 8.3. The moment you know that the, there is a large variation of the pH, a phenolphthalein is also a good indicator for a strong acid, strong base titration. For a weak acid, strong base, the pH of the equivalence point is greater than 7. So again, I can use chrysal red and phenolphthalein. But if the titration is between a strong acid and a weak base, 
So the pH of the equivalence point is uh, less than 7. So the best uh, uh, indicator or the one which we normally use is methyl orange. Methyl red can also be used. So it is basically you coordinate the pH of the equivalence point and the pH range at which the indicator changes color to select the suitable indicator for our titrations.